Hey there, welcome to the Proud Animator YouTube channel. In this lesson, we are going to animate the illustration of the boy flying a drone which we have illustrated in our last lesson. So let's start. So in the previous lesson, we have illustrated this particular flat style illustration and in this lesson, we are going to animate this illustration. So I have decided to divide the whole animation part in two videos. In this particular video, I'm going to animate the character and in the next video, we are going to animate the drone. So for the animation of the character, I th I'm thinking of giving it a walk cycle animation. So let's get started with it. Okay, so right now we are going to animate this character and give it a walk cycle animation with the help of rubber hose to plug in. I have removed few detailing from the original illustration. The reason behind it is we are going to focus more on the animation part. That's why. And I have uh, also just put a perspective grid over here. I think we have illustrated this during the illustration lesson. So basically we are going to use it as a reference. Okay, so first of all, let's create a host from rubber host too. Let's rename it and create a hose. After that, I'm going to select this hose and apply it apply a style on it which will be this last one tapered hose select and click on apply and after that i'm going to reposition the end and the start with the actual leg illustration okay so right now this part of the leg will be in in front of the camera i mean it will be above this part in the z axis so we have to change the settings so i'm going to increase the taperedness and give it something like this okay so right now we are going to select this one and put a position on the key position put a keyframe on the position property as well as on the length and I will select the hose and I will put keyframe on both of these because we are going to adjust it to just make a illusion of perspective okay so a typical run cycle takes around a second so I'm going to jump on to next 30 frames and put keyframes over here after that i will jump on to 15 and put keyframes and i will just move this behind and after this i'm going to adjust the taperedness and after that i will jump on to next seven frames basically in between these two and i will simply select it and move move it above somewhere around here this is where the passing pose is remember when we have discussed about walk cycle animation there is a passing pose which is a keyframe key pose in a walk cycle so let's easy is it and let's check the animation So it's looking okay. So first of all, I will select all of it and move it below and change the host color. Select the fill and simply select like this. Okay. After that, I'm going to parent the start with the upper body and I will move this start to somewhere around here. And let's check if everything's look fine. Uh, yeah, it's looking fine. But I think we need to add position keyframe on the start as well. It's looking perfect. So I'm going to select all the keyframes at this particular position and convert it into roving keyframes so for that if the keyframe are in easy ease then select the control and double click on it it will change it like this or if it's a linear then single click will work 
all right so after that i'm going to animate the body add a keyframe on the position and the rotation and i will jump on to next around seven frames and i will do the same and i will just pull it above this is where the passing pose will be i will also add some rotation to it okay i will select everything and simply copy it again and let's easy easy it okay sorry uh, we have to reverse the keyframe as well so to reverse it just double click on it and click on this time reverse keyframes yeah it's perfect now so i think here we need to fix the start point slightly perfect now so the legs animation are almost done so we just need to animate the other side of the leg for that simply select all the holes and just duplicate it so to du duplicate it to duplicate a hose in rubber hose 2 just go to manage and click on this duplicate selected hose group and the layers will be duplicated like this and we simply need to select the position and move it like this select the end again and just give it the opposite side of the bend direction same with the start select and just pull it like this perfect now so right now i am going to add a loop expression to all the all the properties with keyframes so the expression is loop in plus loop out minus the value so i will copy and paste it to all the properties so right now i'm going to offset this leg all the keyframes of this particular leg by 15 frames because right now both the legs are moving together so let's check it so i think we can simply and just move it slightly above at this particular passing pose so let's check now yeah it's looking for better and after that you can also add shoes and parent this with this controller it will work fine so after that i'm going to also offset this body but before that i'm going to add rotation in the neck as well neck and head so simply i will put position keyframe over here add rotation as well and after that i will jump on to the next 15th frame and add keyframes over here so i'm going to parent head with the neck and i will slightly give it a rotation around six same for the head as well so at this particular point i will pull the whole thing above and again on the next 15th frame i will simply copy and paste the initial keyframes and simply is is it and after that i'm going to add the expression so right now let's offset the head from neck and also i will offset whole thing and same with the body so let's check our animation yeah it's looking perfect now and after that you can simply i think this leg is looking doing some weird thing because of this start controller we have to adjust it as well yeah it's looking perfect now so after that you can add your detailing to the character and 
just proceed with and uh, you can also animate the drones so for the drones i'm going to animate the I, i'm going to show you how to animate the drones in the next lesson which will be coming on uh, next week so hope you like the video so if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson then make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye